in news ish today. We are talking about super fast jets. Arion is moving forward with a 12 passenger business plane that flies from London to New York in four and a half hours. According to the Wall Street Journal, the plane is set to cost $120 million, go 4,750 <laughs> knots at up to 1.5 times the speed of sound. <laughs> <laughs> David, you found this story this yeah, morning. You, is this you, your dream? Yeah, you talk about a 1% problem. This is a 100th of 1%. $120 yeah. million so you can shave two and a half hours off of your transatlantic flight. Right, I, I was going to say, so you're not really saving a lot of time for what I'm guessing is a lot of expense, right? Yeah, it goes, uh, just so you know, it goes Mach 1.5, one and a half times the speed. Of well, but here's, what I'm, here's what struck me is that... Um, the, the Concorde was already there and yes. it worked for the rich. It turns out that the economics are such that a plane built for the super rich <laughs> is totally feasible, whereas the Concorde couldn't actually work anymore. By the way, this will be a new way of compensating your CEO. <laughs> oh, <laughs> sure. that it? Forget, forget the, the, the Gulf Stream. You know, he's going to need a well, supersonic plane. You know, boards are kind of saying no to private jets. I don't know how the timing yeah. works yeah. out right? for that. There's a certain convenience in being able to sleep overnight on a transatlantic flight, right? Yeah. So yeah. do I now get up at 2 o'clock in the morning? To, I, it, just, it confuses me. I don't know, but I think it may be a status thing. I'm <laughs> not sure. You, you think? <laughs> I'm not sure. You think having it may be a that, status I, thing? I, having said that, I'd love to fly one of those things. All right. Wouldn't you? I mean, that'd be fun. <laughs> I think the London Bureau is calling, David. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. That's right, exactly right. I wonder what it costs to charter one of those.